What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and um, one thing that a lot of um, diehard Windows users really miss is the old-fashioned Windows Movie Maker. Now as most of you know it was discontinued in 2017 by Microsoft and made it no longer available to be downloaded and I would never trust any websites that claim that they have the real Microsoft installer for Windows Movie Maker if it is real, it's probably bundled with viruses and spyware, so don't trust it. However, I was able to track down a legitimate copy from Microsoft. Even though it's not available anymore, someone on a forum had a link to the offline installer. And don't worry, I, um, I downloaded it, scanned it, tr made sure that it's virus-free. I promise you this is completely safe. Um, it's the actual um, Windows Live Essentials 2012 installer from Microsoft. So I'm going to, um, the first thing you need to go is in the this video description, there's going to be a link to this media fire, my media fire page is probably, what I'm probably going to end up doing is sharing this download. And basically it's going to be, well, no, I, this always happens when I record with Bandicam. It, it's, even though I don't have a problem with my graphics driver, I guess it conflicts, I don't know. But that always happens. Anyway, it's going to be a link to this Windows Live Essential setup. So go ahead and download that from Mediafire that I from my Mediafire account, and I have it saved here on the desktop. Um, so go ahead and double click on it. It's probably going to ask you to um, user account control prompt is going to come up. Just click yes, and you can see here it is: Windows Essentials 2012 preparing to install. So if you just want Windows Movie if you just want Windows Movie Maker, this um, then you can choose the programs you want to install. I don't recommend all of these because since these were from several years ago, a lot of them have become out of date and not necessary anymore. So what I did is choose the programs you want to install and then uncheck the ones that you don't want. And since this is the um, since I've actually installed Movie Maker already, you can see this program is installed, Photo Gallery and Movie Maker. That's already downloaded. But when you guys launch it for the first time, it's going to be in here. So just click that and then hit install. And it's actually going to install Windows Live Essentials 2012. Now, I promise this does work on Windows 10. I've, um, I've done this on Windows 10. I've downloaded the installer and actually installed it on Windows 10. And Movie Maker works absolutely perfectly. But if you're, oh my goodness. But if you're ever worry just run it in compatibility mode but um you can see here i um i can't type i do have um it's just called movie maker not windows movie maker but movie maker right here as well as it's on my taskbar and as you can see this isn't some knockoff just claiming to be it this is the real movie maker like you have all of the real things now this is perfect for novice video editors who don't know much about video editing. This is what I've switched to for all my videos. I used to use iMovie Mobile, but just recently I switched to Windows Movie Maker, and I really like it. It's plenty for what I need it for. The only feature it really lacks is adding video and um, image overlays, but I figured out a way to do that with an internet program for free. If you guys want to know how to do that, just let me know down in the comments, and I would gladly provide a tutorial on that but it's the it is the real um windows movie maker you can this this is you guys may remember this from my old video that you saw a little while ago but um you got all the stuff you need whatever you might want to add you know transitions stuff like that it's the real windows movie maker it works the exact same way on windows 10 but um and just to prove it, in a few seconds, I'm going to show you that I edited this entire video with this program. So, um, yeah, let's check that out. All right, guys, so it's been about an hour since you saw the last clip. You can see it's like 9.08 p.m. now. But you can see that I've edited this video on Windows Movie Maker. And you can see we have all the transitions, audio, any editing I made. Now the um I should have made it more clear the um image and the image overlays that you saw I didn't use Movie Maker for since there is no built-in tool. Kind of surprises me considering how powerful it is for such for a free piece of software. But um I used a website on the internet to do that so this video by the time you will have seen has actually been compressed twice but I don't think the audio quality has been lost so I'm gonna go ahead put this clip that you're seeing right now on my computer 
end that video and it's 9th it's um september 30th so hopefully i'll be able to get this video out tonight so um yeah guys just to prove that that really works um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time